Yo, what's up? It's King Bedhead, and today I am feeling like a king of PC gamers because I have finally received my Steam Deck 512GB. After co-working all summer, I feel like I earned it. Uh, this thing is supposed to be sweet. By luck of the draw, I finally got called. Um, I put my order in like middle of July last year, and it just came through like end of July this year saying it was ready to ship and I got it within a about a week um, so you can see super light packaging around this thing it's just the box that shipped it and then I guess they have a lot of faith in the case just a separate box here which spoiler alert is going to contain the charger um, but yeah probably some corporate exec goons decision to stay light on the packaging here I guess but it is cool you can see there's prints inside we'll get a close up on that um, but first just making sure we got all the accessories yep very small felt charger good length as it ends up you can reach from the bed to the floor with that charger which means you can play in bed which is clutch and you can see all the languages here you can play it on the patio at the garden in a store Across the world, Steam Deck. Your games are going places. So yeah, just gonna take off the like one layer of pl protective plastic wrap here. There was no uh, bubble wrap or anything, but remember with the 512 gigabyte edition, you get that exclusive woo, carrying case. And uh, it's a good weight. You can see it's like kind of big. It's like I don't know, I'll get the dimensions after the fact, whatever, but you know, bigger than my little hands. So I was a little nervous about this, ended up not really being an issue. And then there's these zippers that are stuck together with a little valve tag. Uh, so I need to go find a way to get that cut open. Alright, so with that zip removed, we're going to now unzip the case. Voila, there it is. Steam Deck 512GB in all its high def glory. Surprisingly light. Definitely bigger than a Switch. You know, feels wider in the hands, feels like my grip is wider apart, but the same weight, which is surprising. Nice matting on the touch pads, clicky. Could have used, I don't know, a little more solidified button mashing on those four face buttons. Felt a little, a little wobbly on my unit, but otherwise no, you know, visible issues on the front. And flipping it around to the back, see the valve logo there, the back buttons, which or like a whole mountain I need to climb mentally. But overall pretty impressed with the hardware. For what I paid for it, it feels right. And look at that, they included a classy little cloth to keep the dust off it, which I'm gonna need because as you'll see in this video, uh, is basically as soon as I took it out, I started getting cat hair on it from the adorable cat that I live with. So it came in about half charged, so I'm just gonna plug it in for a little bit, get it up and running, get myself signed in. After I pick, of course, my language and my time zone. There was a initial update that only took a couple minutes, not too bad. And then I was in. So I flipped through everything. It just had my recently played ready to go. Um, so it's cool going through the library. I could see stats on how compatible everything is with the Steam Deck. And of course I had to be cognizant of file sizes because I only have 512 gigabytes. So I ended up installing Counter-Strike go as like basically the first thing I knew I wanted to run. Here's some footage that, you know, my lawyers might be interested in. You can see on my first run, nothing works. 
the inputs were not responding at the game from the sticks, the trackpads. I was clicking triggers, pressing buttons, and uh, just wanted to get some arms race in to get a feel for the controls and, you know, see if the thing worked. But here you can see I rebooted the game, feeling good, feeling strong because I'm sniping in Counter-Strike, getting wrecked in Counter-Strike. You know, overall, I was pleasantly surprised, I would say, by the precision of these track pads in an FPS game, but I don't know if I would recommend this control method for anybody who's trying to go pro. Uh, if you're wondering about performance, as you can see, this was like super duper smooth. I didn't mess with any of the settings. It's just whatever the default settings are on Steam Deck, um, but like no noticeable frame drops and pretty good connection. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. The one thing I will say is that it is hot if you feel the back of this thing while it's running, but they keep your hands far enough, that wide design I guess is coming in handy, that you don't really get burned until you're trying to pick it up off a, a blanket that you set it down on. Looking forward to figuring out how I can boot camp a little bit more stuff on myself. Uh, chest would be fun. There was a two hour Final Fantasy update, so I didn't really catch any footy of that, but I can tell you that it runs surprisingly well. I guess having a PlayStation version will set you up for success like that. Overall, yeah, I'm feeling amazing about, you know, the purchase, the experience so far has been really fun. I'll definitely be sharing more footage in the future. Uh, I would say if I was given a choice by Morbius between this and the Switch forever, I'm taking the Steam Deck pill, baby. So. Follow me if you enjoyed this, give this a video a like if you enjoyed it, I don't know, you know, engage, social media baby, but uh, I'll be here, King Bedhead, playing Elder Brink, getting my ass kicked forever.